Meanwhile, LAPD detectives are continuing to investigate how a man managed to break into Mayor Bass's home in Windsor Square. It happened early Sunday morning. That man is now in custody, and according to detectives, he has a violent past. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard joins us now with an update. Eric. Hi, Carolyn. Well, Mayor Bass was at home at the time, and someone inside personally activated the alarm that brought police to the home. When officers arrived, they say the suspected burglar was caught inside the house. But LAPD officials haven't said yet why it appears the mayor's official residence in Windsor Square was left unguarded. LAPD does have a footprint at the mayor's residence. Obviously, I'm not at liberty to explain the, the, the full, full print of their, her security detail. I'm not sure where they are at. I don't have that information right now, but that'll probably be forthcoming in the coming days. LAPD robbery homicide Lieutenant Jason Milanak is there telling NBC4 officers from the nearby Olympic Station responded to the alarm call to the Getty House early Sunday morning. He says they found 29-year-old Ephraim M. Hunter still inside. He was treated for cuts from broken glass and booked on suspicion of burglary. Mayor Karen Bass was there. She wasn't injured. She thanked the LAPD for that quick response, but has declined to share details of what happened. We obtained this booking photo of Hunter from a 2015 arrest in Massachusetts, where he was later convicted of robbery and serious assault. He served seven years in prison for that attack that prosecutors said happened during a drug sales ripoff. Now, exactly how he ended up inside the Getty House Sunday morning isn't clear. Law enforcement sources have told the I-team they're still trying to figure out if the mayor or the home was a specific target, though one investigator tells me it seems unlikely someone from out of town would end up inside that particular home by chance. A hunter is being held in lieu of $100,000 bail. He's expected to face a burglary charge, possibly some other charges. And you might remember, Mayor Bass was the victim of another burglary at her personal home a few years back. In that case, someone broke in and stole two handguns. Live in the newsroom, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you.